a high scoring weekend of fixtures and some more movement in the league table as we hit about the quarter mark of the season welcome back to filter coffee football and here are the five takeaways from match day 10 cr 700 where else to start but the main man himself right as we talked about why he is struggling at united he goes on to score his 700 club goal to notch yet another milestone in his incredibly accomplished career in their 2-1 win against everton point to note this was also his 150th goal with his weaker foot at all professional levels say what they may united fans will be delighted that ronaldo was able to mark this achievement in a red devils jersey here's hoping he kicks on from here bournemouth flying high The Boscombe club end this match day in the top half of the table which is far away from where anyone thought they would find themselves come the start of the season. Interim coach Gary O'Neill continues his unbeaten run with a win against Leicester who yet again failed to hold on to a lead. Having made the most conservative transfer business of all of the promoted teams, they are currently placed the highest among the three. But the season is long and hard. Can Bournemouth actually stay clear of relegation this season? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Nottingham Forest show faith in Cooper. And speaking of newly promoted teams, Forest handed manager Steve Cooper a new contract through 2025. This is a huge show of faith considering the team currently lies threateningly close to relegation despite some intense transfer business to say the least. We believe this is a great move however, demonstrating that the hierarchy has a plan for the future which does not solely hinge on safety and continued Premier League football. It also tells us that they have faith in Cooper and that he will eventually land a winning formula as he did on their path to promotion. Before moving on, we just wanted to make a request to hit that like, share and subscribe button. As a small channel, those features really help spread our content and means a whole lot to us. Spurs are worse than the league table suggests. First off, our condolences to the friends and family of Gian Piero Ventrone, Spurs' fitness coach who passed away at 61. Football in the end is just a game and will always take a back seat to the relationships that surround us. We have no doubt that this backdrop certainly factored into their performance away to Brighton. But despite the one goal win, Conte's men were easily second best. The game plan is clear to see. Try to grab an early goal and then sit back, defend and hit the teams on the break. But as the league has developed, there are fewer and fewer teams against whom tactics like these remain effective. Add to that, Tottenham still generally lack quality in defense. with Hugo Lloris vulnerable to the occasional fumble Spurs's current system is bound to fail a few more time as the season goes on and while it may keep them in the hunt for Europa League spots Champions League football might remain a bridge too far Liverpool are out of the title race following their 3-2 loss against Arsenal Klopp himself admitted that Liverpool are no longer contenders for the title Man City and Arsenal have dropped a combined 7 points between them so far while Liverpool alone have now dropped 14 The team is in desperate need for both a tactical and mental overhaul because currently they are not even in the running to finish in top 4. What do you think is going wrong at Liverpool and how do you think Jurgen Klopp can fix this? Can Liverpool still finish in top 4 or is Jurgen Klopp's season 7 syndrome actually true? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and please hit that like, share and subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.